Well, thank you very much. Uh, first of all, uh, and dear uh, Global Hockey family and uh, dear colleagues from National Hockey Associations and uh, dear all volunteers and administrators in Global Hockey family. Uh, I am very happy uh, to address you towards the end of this uh, 2022. Yes, uh, my uh, first uh, few days in the office, uh, it was full of engagement and as I uh, mentioned in my uh, speech at the election that uh, the engagement and empowerment will be on my top priority and uh, this is what exactly I did. I've been in touch uh, with our most important community, those are athletes. I have uh, uh, directly spoken to uh, team captains uh, in the uh, last uh, a few days. I had an interaction with uh, almost 70 plus national associations up to now. Uh, I have already had a meeting, important meeting with the Olympic movement, including the Continental Olympic Council's president. And it is more or less, uh, it is uh, a, a full engagement from our side as International uh, Hockey Federation. And uh, of course, uh, in, in our office, which is uh, again full of energy and to deliver what we are already doing and what we are trying to innovate for future. And I was very uh, active part of uh, our office uh, activity uh, as well. Uh, I think uh, 2022 was uh, again a big opportunity for us to come back uh, after a very intensive impact on, from pandemic and that was a recovery year for us and I think uh, it was full of hockey and uh, I really appreciate the energy all of our stakeholders has uh, and they, they came back with uh, great uh, events and it was a great opportunity for us to spread hockey in our universality uh, approach and we brought our Junior World Cup uh, to Africa, first time ever and that is a milestone and I am proud to say that uh, it was very successfully organized in Africa. Then we have a very important uh, Women World Cup uh, and of course we were able to restart in full-fledged uh, Pro League uh, matches and uh, I think that is something which is uh, very important for us that we are coming back to hockey but uh, with our more innovative ideas to engage our hockey community and our top athletes. That was the intention for us that we will have a second year and uh, second year plus uh, uh, opportunities for our uh, nations and this really satisfied not only the need of our second year nations uh, but also it proven to be a very very important uh, step forward by organizing the nations cup i had uh, great feedback from the captain of the team from the athletes from the coaches that uh, we did the right decision and i am thinking it is not the end we will continue to further engage our next year uh, nations for another uh, event. So that will be a combination of Pro League, Nations Cup and possibly Nations Cup 2 in future. Well, I think the 2023, like many other uh, years, 2023 is a build up to Paris 2024 and very important uh, in our event portfolio, a very important uh, year and uh, it is, uh, we will have a men's World Cup uh, and then we will have uh, an indoor World Cup in 2023 uh, that is our more uh, prime uh, events which we will deliver and the Olympic qualifier uh, we will step in to, to build up uh, our uh, 2024 uh, uh, Paris Olympics uh, qualification process but uh, the, all our top athletes and top nations and also our developing nations are looking forward to see the Paris 2024 uh, uh, outcome, uh, qualification outcome and also uh, our first ever uh, uh, Hockey 5 World Cup, uh, which will be in January 2024 and 2023 will be a great uh, year for our athletes to prepare for the uh, Hockey 5 uh, World Cup.
Well, I think it is uh, important and we always value inclusivity and that is something uh, very, very important. We are proud that we reached to that stage and uh, I really appreciate all of our uh, uh, professional people who are working for it and I think this is a great opportunity for us to be part and we provide uh, through hockey and a great opportunity uh, to our uh, this generation and uh, that uh, not only satisfy uh, our objectives but it is uh, also an important to issue and uh, address the values we have around our uh, in sport. Well, that is, uh, uh, I mean, this is my main uh, agenda and uh, I am uh, at this moment fully prepared that in early 2023 we'll see that uh, we are able to and deliver an engagement and empowerment strategy of FIH, a first ever uh, a strategy which we will launch. And that is the target date is that we uh, try to launch this uh, in the month of January during the Men's World Cup in Bhubaneswar. And uh, I think that will include uh, uh, many initiatives for our developing nations, for our second tier nations, and it is a whole complete package of uh, not only engagement but consultation process and also providing a lot of resources to our uh, developing nations. Uh, but uh, my uh, wish and uh, my appeal to global hockey community would be that uh, we use our uh, sport uh, to a greater uh, values and uh, to to help our uh, society around to include uh, a more and more uh, member of our society and community uh, uh, through our uh, sport and make this group uh, even better place and even uh, a healthy place and that is also uh, something uh, important uh, for us that uh, we also demonstrate and practically deliver our sustainability goals and uh, also uh, some initiatives on sustainability no matter what wherever you are and uh, whatever you can think of uh, please help this globe either it is a climate change uh, it is making uh, uh, a useful and uh, eco-friendly environment so everyone has to play an important role in it and hockey is the best platform which you can use uh, to deliver all those initiatives. Uh, first of all, uh, I wish uh, all of our hockey community a uh, very best uh, towards the end of uh, this year and a great year ahead. Uh, I think uh, like any other uh, corporate business or other activities, uh, we are full of challenges. And uh, first of all, before I would like to uh, deliver and ask for some wishes, but I would like to admire the power and energy our all uh, national associations and leaders has in order to keep our hockey alive, our hockey development alive. And uh, I wish you very best in 2023 that uh, we take this 2023 uh, as a very uh, great opportunity to grow our sport and uh, we try to bring and unlock the potential of our uh, uh, our sport uh, in, in general and it will be a great opportunity for us uh, to see our sport uh, increasing the fan base uh, and having presentation of our sport in the most uh, professional way and also which uh, I really wish that uh, we take uh, 2023 a really a year of engagement uh, at uh, uh, a global level and we see uh, our sport uh, growing ever uh, more than ever before. Mm -hmm.